What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about what has been wrong or where my Audi R8 has been. If you guys don't know, if you're not familiar, not caught up, this is my Audi R8 right here. It is a 1 of 25 exclusive edition with the orange accents, but that's not what it looks like today. This is what it looks like today. Is that not a sad sight right there? I wanted to make a video explaining to you guys what is going on with the car right now because you might not have seen it. It's been gone for a while and I'm hurting. And so I want to bring you guys up to date and why it looks like that, what's going on, because I feel like you guys might like a little bit of car content to switch things up. But before we go any farther in this video, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor of today's video, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a turn-based RPG done right. And you guys have probably heard of Raid Shadow Legends because it's a top three ranked RPG on the Google Play Store. Raid is an epic dark fantasy done right. Hero collection turn-based game with over 400 champions for you to collect and personally customize. And the best part about it is it's completely free to play. They're updating it all the time. They're adding new champions every month, even up to 14 champions a month. There are progression rewards, and once you complete the missions, you will get one of the best legendary champions in the game, the Arbiter. Game is growing super fast, and check out this cool roadmap that they've published. They have huge plans for updates over the next six months, so there's infinite content for you to enjoy and no time to get bored. What are you guys waiting for? Download Raid Shadow Legend in the link to the description down below. If you go to the description, click on the special links, you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as a part of the new player program to start your journey. Good luck, and I'll see you guys there. If you guys didn't see the video where I bought this car and everything, like that. Let me show you guys a little bit of a preview of that. Today we have a day that I literally, I never thought this day was going to come. You ready? Oh, I'm too excited, bro. Thank you guys for putting me in this position. Crazy. I think I hear it coming. I think it's coming this way. I thought he'd come that way, but oh, <laughs> oh my God, this thing looks so good, insane. You guys, I can. <laughs> oh my God, that's a. All right guys, so here is the Audi R8 in its current status right now. There's no front bumper. There are no emblems on the car. There's no rear spoiler. There's a rear panel missing off the car. There's also a stop sign knocked over next to the car where it looks like in the thumbnail in the picture that the car has been crashed and that I crashed and I'm an idiot. Well, I can tell you guys right now that the car is not crashed. As much as some of you guys would hate to see that or some of you guys would like to see that, the car is not crashed. Now, the reason those pieces are off is because they are getting fixed, but that is for some cosmetic damage that the previous owners had done. So let me explain to you guys and show you guys what I mean by that on the car of the damage and why I'm doing all of this. Instead of explaining things here today like at the apartment like we typically do, we're gonna go ahead and head to Chipotle, get some lunch and explain it there, why the thumbnail looks like it is, why what's happening, everything like that. But since we don't have my car, we're gonna be taking Nick's car and his car is probably like the loudest Mustang in Georgia, so let's get a nice little uh, cold start, see what it sounds like, let's go. Go for it. 
In honor of going to Chipotle, I saw this on Twitter the other day. Chipotle tweeted, it's okay to be a little extra with some guacamole. Somebody quoted and said, tell that to your employees when they're scooping my chicken. <laughs> so hopefully that happens today. They've been telling them to scoop extra when we go get this burrito because I'm ready. Let's go. You ready? Chipotle. Ready. Let's go. He drives, a, this is an automatic uh, eight speed. Eco boost, four cylinder. All right, let's go get, let's go explain what's going on. Thank you. All right guys, so to start, the car came with a decent amount of miles. It came with about 22,000 miles, which is a lot for these types of cars. There's actually cars with a lot more miles than that out there, but it came with a lot of miles, two owners, Let me explain to you guys a few different things with visual clips of why my car is like that in the thumbnail, why the bumper's off, why it looks like there's a stop sign down at the other side. Let me explain. So my car has about 22,000 miles on it, which is a lot of miles for a car like this, and it had two previous owners. Now, with expensive cars that cost as much as this one, look at this window sticker right here. The window on this was $229,000. I didn't pay that. I got it used, obviously. But typically with cars that cost this much, people pay to get a clear bra film on it. Now, if you look at this car right here, you're driving down the road, you get rocks, you get stuff that is thrown up from other cars and that damages the paint. A clear bra film is basically taking like a piece of tape, but a thick piece of tape and placing it on the front end and it looks like there's nothing on there. So see, put some tape on there. It's basically like a protectant like that, which looks bad for the front of the car. So if anything chips it, my car did not have that sort of protection on it. So on that front bumper and the hood there are about 40 to 50 different rock chips now from afar you don't notice them but when you go ahead and look up there's some that are through the paint down to the metal on the bumper there's some down to the plastic to the point where it didn't bother me that much because if i get some new rock chips it won't hurt me but as well as the front bumper the hood on this side blade there's an orange paint there and the previous owner had a decent bit of a chip taken out of it which is all carbon fiber painted over so that was another thing that was kind of an eyesore to me eventually i decided i wanted to take some action now of course those came on the car but i was recently doing some modifications to the car. I did a bunch of different stuff like exhaust, suspension, stuff like that. And I wanted to remove the rear emblems as well as the front emblems to replace them with black badges as well as on the back. I wanted to have it no badge on there. So in the process of removing it, that paint back there is a little bit brittle. So it got pulled up a little bit. And if I wanted to have a flush look on there without an emblem, then I don't want to have it look like that. So basically when that happened, I said, you know what? This is a sign. I should go ahead, get the front end repainted, get the hood repainted, and then get this part fixed back here. So it was a perfect look without any emblems because that's what I ultimately wanted. With that decision, I decided to take it to a local paint place that I was recommended by a lot of high-end car owners. So with repainting the front bumper, the hood, and the rear part, it basically sets me up to have perfect paint to go ahead and clear bra over so that underneath it is completely perfect. Now I filmed the whole process of me modifying that car and getting a lot of stuff done. So if you guys want to see that and this video gets enough love, maybe like 15 to 20,000 likes, I will go ahead and make a whole separate video once the clear bra is getting done, everything like that. Here's a little preview of what you can expect from that modification video. I just finished that edit and that looks absolutely insane. So yes, after the car was modified about a week or so later, it was taken to the paint place to get painted. Now, here are a few little things I have for my dash cam of the car being painted. I 
actually this current day the car is ready to go be seen so uh, I want to head over to the paint place and show you guys what the car looks like afterwards. I'm excited to see how good it matches. Oh, look at that, no emblems. All perfect hood. Side blades, all perfect too. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, guys, why have I not had my car for two weeks now? And I can't have it for another two weeks. My car looks absolutely pristine. The paint looks perfect. The color matches so good. And now I have to wait two weeks for it to, uh, for the paint to cure and ready for a clear ball. So what's gonna be happening in the next two weeks is that a transport truck and enclosed trailer is going to pick it up from the paint place and take it over to the place where it's getting clear brawl. Now the place that is clear brawling it wanted to team up with me to do a giveaway for you guys. Because they thought some of you guys watch this might like car content on Instagram as well as might wanna get a free $100 Visa gift card for anybody to win. They wanted to do giveaway on Instagram where basically all you have to do is follow me on Instagram and follow them on Instagram and they'll give a hundred dollar Visa gift card to any of you guys. Now that's just to drive a little bit of traffic over there so you guys can see they're gonna have behind the scenes of when my car is there getting clear broad, ceramic coated, everything like that. And once the car is done there, then the car is like perfect. I eventually will probably do some wheels. I'll eventually do some other stuff like that. But after the, the paint and everything's done, it sets me up for long term to have the car for a long time and have perfect paint. That's why I wanted to do this because I wanted to look at it from a long term goal. I might not have it for a month a month and a half but in the long term my car's paint will be absolutely perfect and i'll love it it'll be show car ready everything like that so i know this is a switch up of content and i tried not to clickbait you guys too much but i do think that you know it's applicable the car had no bumper on it because it was getting painted but if there's any other modifications you guys should think i should do or maybe i already did them and you guys don't know it because you haven't seen that modification video let me know in the comments down below and let me know if you'd like to see some more car content or if i should stick it to a different channel let me know i really enjoy making content like this i like to switch it up today because i want to make something a little bit different from the sneaker content show you guys a bit more in my life What's going on and i hope you guys did enjoy if you did please leave a like down below i'll see you guys next time this is harrison signing out